guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome finally to my 2019 book stats video. Um, this isn't going to be a super in-depth stats video because we're pretty far into 2020 already, so I feel like people aren't that interested in it. And I already have um, a ranking video, which I think is a little bit more helpful, but I did want to go over some of the stats that I had um, over the course of 2019, just let you know, you know, some different things about my reading and some things that I'm tracking. That's kind of really it. So I'm going to pull over my laptop here. So the first thing I have, and I'm going to have to try to have um, some of these on the screen. I don't know if I'm going to do whole screen or just pop it up here. Um, but the first thing that I have on my Excel sheet, is kind of just like a quick at a glance view. Um, so I read a total of 65 books this year. Um, and those books added up to a total count page of 21,471 pages. That makes the average book that I read 330.32 pages. Um, and then my average star ratings was 3.365, so 3.37, which is pretty average, um, just over halfway, which is pretty nice. And my average day days it took me to finish a book was 15.569, so we'll just say 15.6, so about 16 days, which is just over two weeks. Um, and that one I'm not surprised by because I either read a book like super quickly or it takes me like a week or two. So it's just, that's just how I normally am. Um, my collar is messed up. Let me fix this. So then going by month, my books by month, in January I read three books, February I read 10, March I read one, April I read nine, May I read two, June I read seven, July I read 17, September or August I read three, September I read one, October I read five, November I read two, and December I read five. So that is an average book read every month at four or 5.146, so 5.42. Um, and this I'm not surprised by because I always have really great reading months and then the next month I like don't read. And that's kind of something I want to try to change this year. I am a big mood reader so if I don't feel like reading or if I get into a slump then I'm not gonna read. But I do want to um, read a little bit more consistently. My stretch kind of not really goal but sort of a goal is to read four books a month. And this I average four books a month. Um, the amount of months I actually read over four books last year was one, two, three, four, five, six. So it was only half of the months out of the last year that I read for. Um, so not surprised. This also does not include any of my DNF. So also the page counts do not include any books that I DNF'd because I just was not tracking that last year at all. And that is not books that I like barely started and finished. Like I read a bunch of, I read pages in other books that I just haven't finished yet. Going to my pages read by month, naturally my most read month was July. I read 5,225 pages. That accounts for nearly 25% of my whole pages read this year. My average pages read per month, so my average, the average amount of pages I read every month was 1,789.25 pages. Yeah, I'm not really surprised by this too much. Um, last year I read 63 fiction books and two nonfiction books and both of those two nonfiction books were my favorite books of the year. As far as author gender, um, I only have male and female uh, gender. I, and, and this is on me, I don't know if any of the authors that I did read from this year um, identify as something else and that's something I want to kind of track more of. I also don't really know how best to track books where it, they're co-authored. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. But as as of last year, I read 44 different authors, 15 of those being male and 29% of those being female. So about 65%, 66% almost of the books that I read were written by um, a female or woman author. The source of my books, so this is either owned or library books. I read 38 library books this year. That is 58% of my reading and 27 books that I had previously owned or at least acquired from within that year or had from previous years. And I want to try to get that more to 50-50. I want to read the physical books that I actually have because I do have a lot of 
unread physical books. So moving on to genres. So I read 30 mystery thriller books and that was by far my most read books at 46.15%. Um, and then my next highest was science fiction and dystopian, which also makes a lot of sense. And then my next highest was fantasy, but that is a big drop. Um, I read 30 mystery thrillers, 14 science fiction, dystopian, and eight fantasies. And then I read a lot of horror. I read six horror books last year. Um, more romance than I thought. I did not read any poetry, classics, historical fictions, memoirs, or history slash biography books. I'm not surprised you guys know that I read mystery thrillers a lot. I listen to them as audiobooks compulsively. As for the format of the book, so I have the my categories are hardcover, paperback, ebook, audiobook, and graphic novels. Um, so I read nine hardcover books, 10 paperback books, eight ebooks. I listened to 32 audiobooks and six graphic novels. Now, this is more um, split up. So I read 19 actual physical books that I owned. The ebooks, some of them I did own, some of them were library books. The graphic novels, all of the graphic novels that I read this year, I did read as ebooks also. But I wanted to just separate them so that way I kind of know that they are a graphic novel, not just a regular ebook novel. But then, of course, big one here 32 of the, of the books that I read were audiobooks. That is 49.23%. That's a very large percentage. Um, but, you know, I'm not surprised. Next, moving on to my age range. So I read 51 adult books, which is 78.46%, um, 13 young adult, one middle grade, and zero children books. So not surprisingly, um, I may read primarily adult books. Um, I think this year, though, I might get back into YA a little bit, which I'm pretty excited for. Next up, we're going to be talking about my book length. So this just, I have books under 100 pages, and then it ranges all the way up to over 1,000. So the majority of the books that I read, not surprisingly, because it was my average pages read, um, was books between 300 and 399 pages at 34. So 52% of the books that I read. My next highest book was, or next highest amount was books between 200 and 299 pages at 10. And then my next one was books between 100 and 199 pages, which I'm really surprised, but I did read eight graphic novels and a majority of those are between 100 and 200 pages. So I did read one book that was less than 100 pages. Um, and then I read eight books that were between 400 and 49 books. And then the largest book that I read um, was between 700 and 79, 700 and seven, 700 and 799 pages, but that was an anthology. The shortest book that I read, I actually don't remember, let me double check, was... Oh, Binti. Next, the year's published. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time, but the majority of the books that I read this year were published in 2019 at 20% exactly, um, followed closely behind by the range of 2001 to 2011 books. So um, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do year published next year. I don't know if I'm going to track it in a chart or what, but I do want to keep track of the books that I'm reading in the year that they are published. Finally, we're going to go over star rating. So for the star ratings, I majority rated the most of the books that I read last year um, at four stars. I had 17 total books, which is a percentage of 26.15%. Um, and then the next one follows is three stars at 13 books at 20% exactly. Um, my lowest rated books were one stars, obviously. Um, and then I rated four four books, five stars. Once again, if you want to figure or know what that is, go ahead and check out my ranking videos where I talked about every book that I read this year. Um, but that's kind of it. I do have all these charts and they are here for you to look at on the screen. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of my quick overview. I, like I said, I didn't want to spend too much time um, on these, but they are here. Yeah, that's all I have for my stats. 2019 was a really good reading year. Um, I want to dive more into stats next year. Um, I started keeping track statistically of my readings in 2018. And then 2019, I kind of was fiddling around and figuring out what works best for me. So I think, I mean, yeah, did I say 2019? And then 2020 next year, this year that we are currently in, um, I hope to get really good at it. And next year, 
in 2021 when I'm talking about my 2020 stats. I just want that video to be really good. Um, but who knows? So yeah, that's all I have. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you have a great day. Do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And yeah, let me know some of your bookish stats as well. And that's all I have. So thank you for watching and I will see you in a couple days with a new video. Bye.